right. So today we're really diving into Sicily. Yeah. And I have to say the research you've done is uh, really impressive. Well, you know, it's just Sicily is one of those places you hear Sicily, you think the Godfather, mm. but there's so much more to it. I mean, we've got history, volcanoes, food, even puppet operas. Seriously, you weren't kidding. This is like a treasure trove of information here. Right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to unpack it all. We're going to find those little hidden gems, those aha moments that you wouldn't get just, you know, skimming a Wikipedia article. Absolutely. Like anyone can do that. This is about connecting the dots, finding the things that make you go, wow, I never knew that. Exactly. And that's what makes these deep dives so fun. Totally. So where do you want to start? Well, I think we got to start with the basics, right? Mm. Geography. So picture this, mm. Sicily. Sitting there in the Mediterranean, shapes like a, a giant triangle. A giant triangle. I love that. And they even call it Trinacria, right? Yeah. Trinacria. Kitschy, isn't it? But it's more than just a name, you know? It's like this ancient symbol tied to their identity. It really makes you think about how powerful shapes can be, how they can hold so much meaning. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And speaking of powerful, Sicily's got this volcano, Mount Etna. It's the largest active volcano in all of Europe. Mount Etna? That's like the rock star of volcanoes. Right. It's erupted countless times like throughout recorded history. And and get this, they say it's actually gotten taller in recent years. No way. Seriously. Yeah, like it's still growing. And it's been a huge part of their culture for centuries, like myths and legends. They used to believe a monster was trapped beneath it, causing the eruptions. Oh, yeah. Typhon, right? Like some it's ancient right, Greek it, myth. That's the one. It's wild, right? But see, here's the thing. Sicily isn't just mountains and volcanoes. They've got rivers, forests, the whole shebang. Right, like the Salso River, longest one on the island. But you know, the Romans, they nearly deforested the whole island back in the day. Can you believe that? No way, uh -huh. seriously. Yeah, for resources. It's a good thing nature's resilient. For real. And speaking of resilience, we got to talk about Sicilian history mm -hmm. because, wow, these guys have seen it all. Greeks, Romans, Arabs, Normans, they've all had their turn. It's incredible. It's like a crash course in Western civilization all on one island. And you know what's crazy? Sicily was once even richer than England. Wait, seriously? <laughs> richer than England? No, for real. During the Norman kingdom, they had this golden age. And what's really interesting is the Normans, they didn't just conquer and impose their culture. They actually blended with the Arabs and Byzantines who were already there. Wow, that's so cool. Talk about a melting pot. So they were, what, tolerant back then? They were. It was this amazing blend of cultures. But, you know, as more Normans arrived, things changed. Sadly, that tolerance faded, and it culminated in the expulsion of the Jewish community during the Spanish Inquisition. Man, history's full of twists and turns, isn't it? It really is full of contradictions, like how Sicily eventually became part of Italy. That wasn't exactly a smooth transition either. They even tried to revolt back in 1848. Yeah, I read about that. They definitely have a strong sense of identity, those Sicilians. Absolutely. They know who they are. They're proud of their heritage. And you can see it in everything from their art to their food. Speaking of food. Yeah. And Sicilian food is amazing. Honestly, some of the best in the world. Oh, absolutely. It's like this incredible fusion of flavors. You've got those Arab spices, fresh seafood, amazing produce. Right. And everything's just bursting with flavor. Yeah. Arancini. Oh, uh, don't even get me started on arancini. Those little fried rice balls are to die for. I know. And cannoli. Cannoli. Oh, my gosh. Crispy, creamy, the perfect dessert. And we can't forget the wine. The wine. Sicily's got some fantastic wines, unique grapes, you know, that you won't find anywhere else. It's a wine lover's paradise for sure. Now, we got to talk about something else that's so Sicilian. Those painted carts. Oh, yeah. The ones you see in all the pictures. Exactly. So colorful and vibrant. But they're more than just, you know, touristy things, right? They're like works of art. Absolutely. Traditional craftsmanship passed yeah. down through generations. Each one tells a story. It's amazing the detail they put into them. Okay, and here's something else I bet you didn't know about Sicily. Puppet theater. Puppet theater. Wait, really? I'm serious. It's huge there. They have these elaborate marionettes, beautiful costumes, and the performances are like full-on operas. No way. That's incredible. Yeah. It's called Opera dei Pupi, actually. And get this, it's recognized by UNESCO. Wow. That's saying something. Right. It's like a big deal. 
But it just goes to show you, Sicily's got this rich cultural scene. You've got festivals, music, storytelling. They even have those cantastori. Cantastories? What are those? Oh, they're these like traveling storytellers. They use music and song to tell stories, you know, about history and folklore. Wow, that's cool. So they're like keeping those oral traditions alive. Exactly. It's pretty amazing. But, you know, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about the elephant in the room. The mafia. Yeah. It's a part of their history, and it's still a reality for some people there. It's true, but it's important to remember it doesn't define Sicily or its people. I exactly. It's just one piece of a much bigger picture. And speaking of pictures, I'm sure some of you listening are already dreaming of visiting Sicily. And who could blame them? It's a beautiful place with so much to offer. Ancient ruins, stunning beaches, delicious food. Right. But before you book that flight, there are a few things you should know. So what kind of things should people know? What's the catch? Well, the catch is Sicily's got its challenges, too, like a lot of places, really. Like what? Well, the economy, for one. They've got, you know, unemployment, especially for younger people. It's tough. Even with all that history and beauty, they still have real life problems. Yeah, that's a good point. We often forget about those things when we're busy, you know, planning our dream vacations. Exactly. And, and another thing is like, the infrastructure, the trains, for example, mm. they're not like super reliable or efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, if you're on a tight schedule, it might not be the best. But on the other hand, it kind of forces you to slow down. Enjoy the ride. True. Take it easy. Soak it all in. That's actually a nice way to look at it. Right. Makes you appreciate things more. And speaking of appreciating things, don't forget, Sicily's got a strong sense of tradition. So be mindful, mm. you know. Respect the local customs. It goes a long way. It's like they say, when in Rome. Exactly. When in Sicily. So to wrap things up, it seems like Sicily is a place of contrasts, wouldn't mm -hmm. you say? You've got this ancient history, but also modern day struggles. Mm -hmm. Stunning beauty, but also harsh realities. Absolutely. It's a place that stays with you, you know, makes you think it's like a microcosm of, of everything. I love that. Oh. And on that note, I think we've given our listeners a lot to chew on today. We definitely have. So to everyone listening, we say, keep exploring. Keep diving deeper into the mysteries of Sicily. And hey, if you find any hidden gems along the way, let us know. We're always up for another adventure. <laughs>